Hi, thank you for joining me today. If you're familiar with opera, you know basically it's a play where everything or almost everything is sung. There's another version called an operetta where a lot is sung, but not as much as in an opera. And the American version of this is the musical. Think about some of those great musicals. Uh, South Pacific, The Sound of Music, Oklahoma. The list goes on and on like that. Most recently, of course, Hamilton has been extremely popular. Well, there's another one, Annie. Annie is based on the comic strip series Little Orphan Annie that I think was probably in the 20s and the 30s or something like that. Now, when we our middle school students put on a musical, as they usually do in the fall, I try to visit with them each year and say, what's the meaning of this? Okay. What are you trying to communicate with people? Because even if it's something that might seem kind of trite or something, quite often you can find some spiritual values there. And the theater is a way of communicating. Film is a way of communicating. And I remind the students that, you know, there's some people who have no intention of coming into church and listening to me, but they might go to a theater production or they might go see a film. So it's fun to get up there and sing your hearts out, but there's something else. And I share a few ideas, and some years I've really been impressed with what our students come up with. They say it's the spiritual meanings here. So I said, think about this. This is really what you want to help communicate to people. So Annie. Annie is an orphan, little orphan Annie, and she's in an orphanage. So she's someone on the peripheries of society, as Pope Francis would say, someone who society doesn't necessarily pay a whole lot of attention to. You find that in that song, It's a Hard Knock Life. And the girls are singing, It's a Hard Knock Life for us. No one cares for you a smidge when you're in an orphanage. And it goes on like that. Okay. Oliver J. Warbucks, this billionaire, as a PR uh, measure really, is ready to invite an orphan to come and live with him for a week, and it's Annie. And so the story takes off from there, and in the end, it's about conversion. Oliver J. Warbucks finds conversion. At one point he says, I love money, I love power, I love capitalism. But his assistant says to him, you know those are never going to love you back. So he learns that there is more to life than money. He learns that people are more important than money. Really, in the end, he learns to become a father. He learns to go outside of himself. Probably my favorite saying of St. John Paul II is, a father is a man who has been conquered by love. And Oliver J. Warbucks is conquered by love. Oliver J. Warbucks becomes Daddy Warbucks in the end. And so there's a lesson there as we see that conversion, but there's something there for us. That's a reminder to all of us in different ways certainly to be mindful of those who are on the peripheries, to be mindful that people are more important than things, that people are more important than money, and there is something we find when we go outside of ourselves. We might find pleasure in satisfying ourselves, but we find happiness in going outside of ourselves. And that's where we can even find joy. Think of people you know who you admire. Okay, there are people who in one way or another are generous, as Matthew Kelly would say. They are people who, I would say, go outside of themselves. And we see that in the saints. We see that with the Blessed Mother. And we see that most of all with Jesus.
We see that with Jesus on the cross. We see that with Jesus in the Eucharist as he continues to give himself to us, as he continues to nourish us with his body and blood, and where we learn to go out of ourselves as well and strive to live lives of intentional faith in every little way. So think about what might be one of your favorite musicals. Uh, think about that and ponder that, and think about the spiritual lessons that you can draw out of that. And if you'd like to, feel free to share some of those with me in an email. I'd be interested to know what you think. In the meantime, let us continue to move forward and face each day with faith, with courage, and with as much enthusiasm as we can reasonably muster up. Thanks for spending time with me today. Bye-bye.